this is Dominic again here, and Rockstar Uproar Fest, and I got here Zach Myers next to me, Shine Down Guitars, and I just want to shoot the shit for a couple minutes here and just get caught up with and see what's going on, and how the, how everything is with him. How's it going? All we pretty have, good. We haven't seen each other in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> it's going good out here for us, man. We're doing great. It's been a lot of fun, and this tour's been going good, and uh, good staff and good crew, and we're having a lot of fun. There's like 20 more days left, I think. Damn. Yeah, so it'll be fun. I heard you guys had a blast last night. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. Indiana was good. Uh, me and Jericho do like a nightly golf car ride. That's that's always pretty fun, and... and uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, man. Uh, this tour's been going good, so hopefully the rain holds off today. We'll see what happens. Nice. I got my poncho with me. I'm ready. Did you get your shine? Did you get a shine down poncho? No, I didn't. I didn't handy. Yeah, I got to get a shine down. Got to get that. Got to get that one. It's nice. I got mine from the dollar store. Oh, that's all right. I think ours is cheap too. It's like five bucks. Or something. I'll pick a couple of them. Yeah, absolutely. They're nice though. They're they're, they're super cool. So I, I've been watching a bunch of these videos that you've been putting out. You and like Maria Brink and your other stuff. Are you are you trying to do your own radio, your own show? No, I'm not trying to do my own show. I uh, I love great interviewers. I love Charlie Rose. I mm-hmm. love um, James Lipton from Inside the Inside the Actor Studio is one of my favorite shows, and I love how he gets in there and and asks questions that. People don't, in our line of work in rock radio, and I'm not saying this about everybody because obviously you're different. And there's and, and Lou Brutus and a couple of other people kind of don't ask the same things over and over. I love people who ask different questions, and you know, it's like it seems like every radio interview we do, it's like, well, who are your influences? Yeah. Well, why'd you name your album Amaryllis? And it's like, you can fucking see that yeah, shit everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, go look at another interview I did. Like, so I love those those deep interviews, and that's I think the Maria one came out like that, and I and I liked the fact of two people interviewing each other. That was it's nice. like a conversation. I just did one with Jericho too, so it'll be coming out this week, and then um, I'm doing my manager Bill McGathy, which I'm really excited about because he's been in the rock and roll business for years yeah. and years and years. Uh, my buddy Shane Battier from the Miami Heat, I'm going to do. Nice. So, yeah, it'll be fun. It's cool to check it out because, like, when watching you with the Maria thing, it was so cool because you guys were, like, on that same same playing level, yeah. and you guys get to feel more emotions out of each other of things that have brought you where you're at, and it's, it's really cool to see that. I'm not saying, and I'm not saying that we're, we're uncomfortable with, with journalists or with writers, but we're more comfortable with each other. Oh, that's, that's what I'm Musicians getting. are always like that. You know, we're, we're kind of... Uh, rare breed and 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 you know we don't have i, I don't know any musician who has a, like a plethora of friends you know what i mean like just a ton of friends you know? yeah. we're all friends with each other that's kind of like what it is so i think that's why i decided to do it too because i think you get more out of the interview because you feel more comfortable with someone definitely that's why i do this stuff because i you know i had that connection with the musicians because i'm a musician also and i don't i don't think of the radio thing as as it's a it's a fun thing, and me doing this, man. This is from the heart. Every time I get to do something like this, and it's like, you know, I, I want to know what's going on with you. It's literally, I I want to know because it's it's a cool feeling. I know listeners like to hear that stuff because it's not like question and answer kind of thing. Yeah, and, I, and that's to me, that's what it's about. I, I think people want to know. When I was a kid, man, when I was watching, you know, VHS, like I used to love VHS concerts before DVDs came out. And at my fa- like if they if it was a DVD or a VHS that just showed the show, it always pissed me off. Yeah, I love like my favorite part is if if they ever showed like the band like walking to the stage, that I was, loved it. I would literally rewind that and watch that part over to see like little things and. You know, and that's what I think people want to know about. I think that's why, like, people send me live pictures all the time. I hate live pictures because they all look the same. We're all we all make dumbass faces. You know what I mean? We're up there doing our thing, and it's like I love backstage pictures. I love you know me, you know, hanging out with the crew, or me, you know, in the offices, or you know, just stuff like that. Or the real, it's a real, real. Yeah, I think people like to see that stuff more. Live stuff you just see is like everybody can, you know, a great live picture these days to me is hard to come by. So what do you guys got planned after this festival coming up? Uh, we go to Europe for about five weeks in uh, October, and then we're going to take all the whole holiday season off. Nice. I'm looking forward. We've never done that before. 
in the middle of a record cycle, but we're getting older, and we you know we got families now, and you know a couple of us have kids, and you know, so it's it's uh, it's nice to go home, and so we're gonna have all of November and December off, you know, and it's gonna be great. I think we have to go to India in December and do a show, but it's one show, and then next year I think we actually gonna start in Europe again next year, so you know take take about five months off from the U.S. Nice. Yeah, it'll be fun though, man. We're looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, we have a we have a a really good idea for a headlining U.S. tour next year that that is in the early stages, but it uh it'll be a really big co-headline tour. So, nice. Yeah, so we're gonna have uh, Fozzie there right next to you. I hope so. <laughs> I'm friends with man. Me and Chris have become really really good friends. So and we were talking about that a little earlier. Yeah, I, I, we'll see what happens. We've kind of uh, uh, adopted each other out here, man. That's been, I think you do that every tour. Though. I think you latch on to like. A couple people or one person. Well, he's good people, then. He's a great guy, man. He, he loves what he does, and his band's good. He's got a good band. Oh, he's got the Duke. Yeah, he's got the Duke, man. You can't go wrong with the Duke. Uh, Rich Ward is one of my favorite guitar players, man. I try. Yeah. I, I, I do my best not to freak out when I see him. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, Stuck well, Mojo. I love Stuck oh, Mojo. No, I hear you on that. I got on, when I got on the tour bus. I was, it was the first person I saw, and he kept running up to me and hugging me and stuff. Yeah, like, that's that's the shit right there. He's a great guy, man. All those dudes are super in shape too, so that's kind of like where we also get along. Cause we you know we work out mm-hmm. like religiously now. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I know you got a lot of videos out there. <laughs> You're an exercise club. Yeah, yeah, we we do the insanity thing. You don't call it the balloon the balloon platoon? No, 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 no. We uh we get in there and sweat it out, and a bunch of people have been joining us, like some of God's Max crew and oh, nice. a couple of other people. So yeah, it's been fun. We can't do what Sully does. Sully runs, so oh, does, oh, shit. yeah, like he does like eight miles. And shit, we can't do that. Leave him at a city and catch up. Yeah, Eric can do that. Mm-hmm. Eric, our bass player, can run like that. None of us can run like that. Our shins and knees will give out. <laughs> I hear you. Just a couple more things, and we'll get going here. Uh, but definitely, man, I'm going to be out there in the front there taking pictures. Got some good stuff up there. I'm going to send them out there. And all your friends out there at Shinedown Nation, we're wanting to give a shout-out to you also. Yeah, I love all those guys. Stacey Gardell runs Shinedown Nation. Uh, she's great. Um, she's been a fan for a long time. And she's one of those people who will do anything for you. And she literally, you know, without making any money off of it, you know, cares about our fans. It's nice to have that. Oh, it's amazing. And it's just the, you know, the fact that they care, like, those fans care enough to do that. She's been great. And she has a lot of people who help her, too. But we have a lot of diehard fans, man. It's it's cool that they travel. You know, there's people on the last tour that did 100 shows. Wow. I would love to do something like that. <laughs> i take the kids out of school, though, even though they would like that. But the, the fact that they buy tickets, we're not giving them yeah. tickets, you know what I mean? I've never put Stacy on the guest list one time. I probably would mm-hmm. if they asked. You know, because they support us so much. But I love that those people don't ask, ever ask for anything other than the music that you give them. And, you know, that's great because there's a lot of people out there who think they're owed a lot more oh, wow. than what they are. And we meet those people on a semi-daily basis. I hear you on that. That's why I don't nag you. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Because I know, I know you guys hear that all the time. my phone number, which is rare. I don't I get my phone number out a lot. Nice. <laughs> Okay, um, Zach, can you do us a quick favor? Yeah. Can you do a promo ID for our show? Just say your name, uh, the band you're with, or whatever band you want to be affiliated with. Say, listen to Maximum Threshold and throw something crazy out at the end of it. Yeah. Hello, this is Zach Meyer from The Beatles. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) Hey, what's going on? This is Zach from Shinedown, and you are listening to Maximum Threshold right here. Listen up.